Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to talk about a phone that's a little out of the budget range, but not entirely, because Best Buy has a good deal going on with one. The Pixel 3a, now they make a 3a XL, you're looking at 100 bucks more, but the 3 looks like a really good buy so we're gonna skip everything else and get right to the intro let's do that now all right kids uh today we're gonna talk about the google pixel 3a they also make an XL model, but we're going to concentrate on the 3A because you can get this phone for under 400, 399, and yeah, it has a plastic back. Get over that. You're going to put a case on it. You want to protect your phone, don't you? Uh, who cares what the back cover is made out of? Glass is easily shattered. Plastic is actually flexible and very hard to break. Uh, well, they'll call it polycarbonate, but you get like a 5.6 inch screen, I believe, somewhere in that range, which makes it a little smaller than my uh, new mobile G3, but you're also getting a full 1080p along with I'm thinking here along with the uh, sometimes that happens that's a brain part that's what happens when you stay up too late um, along with uh, an AMOLED display and then let's not forget now here's the killer part of this phone folks yep it doesn't have as good a Snapdragon processor in it it's like a 670 or somewhere in that range it's more than fast enough to get the job done you can play games on it all day It'll do everything. Here's the killer. The killer. It comes with the Google camera. Arguably, overall, the best camera out there still. And it's only one camera on the back and one on the front. And you get the low light shooting. You get all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, Jason... Uh, over at uh, Painfully Honest Tech. Uh, had a good video on it. I'll link that in the description below. And he pointed out to me, and everyone else who watched, of course, Best Buy right now, you can buy an unlocked model and get a $100 gift card. Which means you're really getting this phone at like $299. That isn't bad. Uh, you could take that hundred dollars and spend it on something else you need. Not entirely sure what that something else would be. Uh, another one here uh, would be uh, Red Skull. He agrees too. This phone changes everything. <coughs> what you got is a phone that comes in cheaper than a new. Uh, uh, one plus that's coming out or even last year's one plus <coughs> and gives you the killer camera of all time currently and uh, unbox therapy did one he came to the same conclusion you're getting a killer pc or <coughs> smartphone at a low price i'll link this one in the description below also if you look at my liked videos you'll see both of these liked videos recently so, uh, that's all I've got as far as the screen capture portion of this goes, just to show you what's going on. Uh, like I said, I'll link both of these in the description, and we'll go from there. And now I'm going to come back and talk to you face-to-face -face and give you some common sense advice. Let's get to that. All right, folks, I told you I'd return. Here I am. 
In all my glory. Uh, now we're going to go over just a few things. Uh, what what are you getting with this phone? Even if you had to pay the three ninety nine price, well, you're getting no notch. And something I failed to mention earlier, a headphone jack. And arguably the best camera out there. It doesn't do certain things. It doesn't have some weird Huawei P30 Pro zoom out to 8,000 meters so you can look at the writing on a sign. But it does have a good night mode. It operates very well as far as daytime shots uh, it's going to be a little slower than the pixel 3 because of the lower grade processor oh my but it still throws it into the budget category and the bonus being you know as i mentioned we're all going to get inundated with the absolutely silly and inane oversaturation of the new OnePlus. The new OnePlus is not going to have a Google Pixel killer camera. It's just not. Oh, it'll have a faster processor. Fantastical. That's just outstanding. Do you need it? I think not. But you ain't John Ford. And you ain't in Monument Valley, and you're not shooting John Wayne. Yeah, you're using a cell phone to take some video and some pictures. Get over it. Get over yourselves. Get over the hype. So, uh, hopefully, this was somewhat semi-informative. I just thought I'd give everyone a heads up. I actually think Google has done the right thing. They dropped this like a few days before OnePlus, because even last year's OnePlus 6T is more expensive than this phone is. And this one has a fingerprint reader on the back. Way more preferred than them stupid in-screen fingerprint readers. They're just, oh, it's convenient. No, it's not. Uh, my mobile G3 has an, you know, one on the back, I just leave it face down when I pick it up. I hit the button and it's already on when I look at it. Wow. Is that nice? I don't have to like wake it up and then figure out where to touch. I can find it instantly. Hello. So if you like the video and you thought the, your time here was not completely wasted by myself, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, also, uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And, you know, click the little bell. And then I'll throw some recent videos up in the corners. I don't know what I'll throw up there. Uh, and have a great day. Happy Saturday.